It seems to be the norm for a parent to sign her daughter up to play club soccer, engage in specific speed and agility sessions, and participate in weekend-long showcases. But is this enough to prepare the female for the high demands of sport and ensure high performance? In today's society, our adolescent athletes often fall on either side of a spectrum. On one side, we see an alarmingly high number of youth who fail to meet global physical activity recommendations. On the other side, we see young athletes that are at risk of overuse injuries due to high volumes of competition. Whether the child accumulates insufficient or excessive amounts of exercise or falls somewhere in between, it's generally accepted by researchers that the young bodies of the modern day are often ill-prepared to tolerate the demands of sport. Why is this so? Why isn't playing sport enough to prepare the body for the demands of sport, especially in the female athlete population? When it comes to sport performance, high performance results from one simple equation. Physical capacity multiplied by sport-specific skills equals performance. Think of sport as the main driver of acquiring sport-specific skills, like kicking the soccer ball, swinging the softball bat, or executing a play in basketball. Think of physical capacity as the strength and coordination that allows her to execute these skills at high speeds and high forces. You see, sports performance and execution of specific skills is directly dependent on an athlete's physical capacity to both produce and absorb high forces. Muscle is the driver of force production and absorption in human movement. Muscle growth occurs in two main ways. First, during acute rise of anabolic hormones such as testosterone that occurs during puberty in the male population. Second, in response to a progressive overload of outside resistance and an accompanying recovery period from that overload. For female athletes, there is a comparatively smaller amount of muscle mass accumulated during puberty as she does not experience the same acute rise in anabolic hormones as does her male counterparts. This means females are inherently at a disadvantage when it comes to sports performance and injury prevention as both are directly related to the ability of muscle to both produce and absorb forces. But doesn't sport help increase muscle mass? Yes and no. For any new activity, the body is exposed to a novel stressor. Think of a youth athlete playing competitive soccer for the first time. After a couple of months, she will demonstrate an increase in leg strength as she has been exposed to the new demands of repeated running and kicking. These new demands act as an overload to her body, stimulating her body to adapt and grow muscle. However, because the demands of soccer will remain fairly constant and will no longer be novel, there is no addition to the stimulus that will further overload her body to need to adapt to grow beyond this initial adaptation. For this reason, sport is not enough to prepare the body for the demands of competitive sport. In fact, researchers urge once a female is ready to participate in competitive sport, she is ready to engage in a strength and conditioning program through which the female athlete is able to continue to enhance her strength and power output as a periodized strength training program will provide an external resistance overloaded to stimulate her body to adapt. This type of training is paramount to sports success in the female athlete adolescent population. In fact, research has demonstrated that while both boys and girls make similar gains in muscle strength and vertical jump performance in response to strength and power training, Adolescent females have a significantly larger improvement in sport-specific performance like throwing, hitting, or kicking velocities compared to adolescent boys in response to the same resistance training programs. The research is clear. Sport is not enough. Given the many benefits associated with resistance training, it should form a central component to be prioritized for any competitive athlete, especially the adolescent female athlete. This is Relentless Athletics, bringing the female athlete her best performance through science. If you like this video, be sure to like and share it. Also, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. For more science on female athlete development, check out our website at relentlessathleticsllc.com.